Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. We are currently going through Chrono Trigger as a part of Season 2. Not sure what the deal is? Head up on to YouTube. There's a link in the description below unless you're already at YouTube, in which case uh, it's earlier in the playlist. And it's going to go through what the deal is with Season 2 and, and how this show is going to roll. We are getting ready to enter the fair. We've done our little intro, we've done our setup, we've done our tutorial stuff. And now it's time to get the story rolling. So let's head into Linné Square. Or Linné. I don't know how you want to pronounce it. That's one of the things that I I enjoyed about my, my gaming career before I started streaming. Now that I'm streaming, i got to actually figure out how to pronounce stuff. Alright, old man, what you got for me? Today is the 1,000th anniversary of our kingdom's foundation. Enjoy the festivities. I surely would if I were your age. Okay. Weird flex, but okay. Oh, hello. Potion, panaceas, Athenian water, and shelters. Okay. Good to know that that's where we can get some equipment when we need it. Those runners are busy racing, so they won't answer you if you talk to them. Are you sure? Oh. Oh. That's a change from the console. Because uh, in the console version, you could cheat and talk to the runners and try to slow down everybody except for the guy that you bet on. Not, not that I ever did such a thing. All right. We'll, we'll continue on. <laughs> All right. Line up with the bell and press the button when you're ready. Judge your distance carefully, then press A once more. Uh-oh. All right, let's play this game. Ding! Way to go! One silver point on your card. One silver point. Ah, ah, ah. This kingdom has been through some hard times, like the war against the Fiend Lord. 400 years ago. Fiend Lord. I think that's another change in the vocabulary. I'll have to double check that one. I wasn't expecting that one. I thought I had found all the changes between then and now. Uh, I'll work on that better for next time. You should be thankful things are so peaceful now. <laughs> you don't say. Alright, so you got a padded vest and a bronze helm. Alright, same gear, same price as the other guy, which is good. Um, <laughs> different names than the console edition, that's for sure, because the padded vest used to be a uh, gi. It was a uh, karate gi. And the bronze helm, did that change? Accessories, no, those are capes, those are vests, those are... Pretty sure that's actually the same name. Yeah, the Bronze Helm is still the Bronze Helm. All right, so let's go ahead and we got a thousand gold to start with. Let's go ahead and buy a vest. Ooh, I like this in the port. The ability to uh, pay for more than one at a chance instead of having to buy them one at a time every go. All right, so we got that. We got that. And let's equip Corona. Let's equip the Bronze Helm. And the Padded Vest. All right. I can't remember if the next party member you get has that or better. So instead of selling it, I'm going to hang on to it on the off chance that it'll be useful in a minute. Sweet. This is Lenny Square. Legend has it that people who hear Lenny's bell live happily ever after. Only if they complete the game correctly. <laughs> I hear Luca and her father have put together another crazy invention. I just hope it doesn't blow up again like the last one. <laughs> Melchior the Swordsmith, at your service. There's a name with some history. Google it. Might I interest you in one of my fine blades? Let me take a look. 
And yeah, so that's going to bring my attack up from the paltry three it is right now to 10. I I'd love a silver sword. I'd love to get my attack up to 20, but uh, <laughs> I don't have 4K. Not yet. So let's go ahead and get the bronze blade. Now, this one I know... Oh, I wasn't done yet. I live on the continent to the east. Come and see me if you ever have the need. Good to know. Alright. Let me, uh... Because I wanted to go to the equip. I wanted to go to Chrono. And I'll move my, uh... Wooden sword. Over to the bronze blade. And I wanted to go ahead and sell the wooden sword. Because I know nobody other than Chrono is going to use that. There's no point in hanging on to it. So... Sell the wooden sword. Yes, please. Gonna hang on to the rest of the stuff, so we'll back out of here. Back out of here. He's gonna remind me that he lives to the continent to the east. This merchant said he'd buy accessories if they're in good condition. Hmm, maybe I should sell him this old pendant of mine. Alright, Square. Hints are supposed to be subtle. Oh wait, we're not there yet. <laughs> There's a race underway. Be quiet and watch. If you want to try and guess the next winner, talk to me once the runners have lined up over there after the race. Now, there used to be a formula for figuring out who was going to win the next race based off of who won the last one and who the old man thought was going to win. Um, you had to watch three races go to, to figure out where in the cycle you were. Um, I, I'm not going to spend the time doing three races uh, on stream. Got a feeling that Steel Runner just might pull it off today. Nope, he didn't. Oh, the runners don't talk to you at all in the console port, in the Steam port. Come one, come all, to the Tent of Horrors. Spend your silver points here. Put your bravery to the test. Let me check how many points you have. One. Well, this is as good a place as any to spend them. Yeah, we're going to need some more points. We'll get there in just a minute. We've talked to everybody in the main square except for this young child. There was a big war hundreds of years ago against the Fiend Lord's armies. My mom said if we lost, we wouldn't be having a fair like this today. Hmm. Hmm. Well, hello. Oof. Ouch. All right, this is where I'd like to point out that not only do you have the cute bell, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? You have the option of do you run and grab the pennant or do you talk to the girl? Now, using a little bit of foreknowledge, I know that you're definitely going to want to talk to the young lady first. The one complaining about where did where where did my pendant go? Oh no, my pendant. Don't tell me I lost it. Now go grab the pendant and talk to the girl. <laughs> oh, thank goodness, my pendant. I know it doesn't look like much, but it has a lot of sentimental value. And game importance. That that's in the small print under the last sentence. May I have it back? Why, yes, please. Thank you. You must live in this town. I came to see the fair. Actually boring wandering around alone, though, isn't it? Hey, why don't we walk around together for a while? Wouldn't that be great? Sure. Yahoo! This'll be fun. Funny. This game both predates and postdates Yahoo. Oh, sorry. That's another revisited series. Oh, I never told you my name, did I? It's, um, whatever you name me. Now, we're going to go ahead and accept the default. So we've got Marley and me. <laughs> it's Marley, and you're Chrono. What a nice name. Well, pleased to meet you, Chrono. Come on, let's enjoy the fair. All right, and let's see. we got this guy right here. Let me see how many silver points you have on your card. Looks like you've got one. Would you like to exchange 10 silver points for 50 gold? I would love to, if I had 10 to exchange. I'll gladly pay you Tuesday for some gold today. No? 
Okay. Oh, uh, there's nothing like good fare. Say, have you heard the gossip? No. Why tell me? Well, just between us, I heard that the king is tearing his hair out over his tomboy of a daughter. Just once I'd like to meet her and see how wild she really is. Okay, Square. Hints are supposed to be subtle. Okay. <laughs> oh. My dear old wife made that lunch for me. Always the highlight of my day. Gives me that extra oomph when I'm starting to feel worn down. You have the option of eating the old man's lunch. It fully restores your hit points, which you'll see why that's important in a little bit. And, uh, using some knowledge from the future. I, I'm going to recommend that you don't eat the old man's lunch. Unless you're feeling mean. Then definitely eat his lunch. And accept the consequences. Anything you do can and will be used against you in a court of law. That's not foreshadowing at all. Alright. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Where'd the kitty go? I think I tapped on the button more than once. Don't bother. Alright, we'll come back and get to the cat again in a minute. <laughs> go straight ahead if you want to try your hand against Luca's bipedal robot battler, Ghetto. You can win silver points if you beat him. Oh, and before I forget, let's go to Marley's equipment and see. He's got a hide cap and a hide tunic. Isn't that what I have? No, I got the bronze helm and the padded vest. Uh, what do I have in my inventory? A hide cap and a hide tunic. Okay. So she's already got the same basic equipment. Eventually I'm going to want to get some money and get her upgraded to the same gear I've got. It's about 500 gold, so uh, I'll probably do that grinding between live streams. Alright, let's bump out of the menu here and let's go take on El Gato. Demore Gato. They call me Gato. I have metal joints. If you can beat me up, you'll earn 15 points. Alright, attack! I'm going to zip through the attacks as quickly as I can because, again, they will not wait for you. Ooh. Seriously, come on, get them! There we go. 10 XP, 1 tech point. Oh no, I have lost, and it seems you've won. Here are your 15 points. Now, wasn't that fun? I feel bad for the poor translator who had to figure out how to make uh, those rhymes work. <laughs> All right, let me go back into the menu real quick. Uh, text level one. All right, I need four tech points to learn Cyclone. That is good to know. And she needs nine tech points to get Aura. That is also good to know. We might do a little bit of grinding to get there. We can't change the party members just yet. And the nice thing is that grinding and beating him up for 15 points means we can keep exchanging that for uh, 10 points for 50 gold. Good to know. Oh, is the cat back? The cat came back the very next day. There we go. We talked to him once. He's going to follow us. If Mr. Uh, Eat My Lunch doesn't get out of the way, we might have words. Come on, kitty. This is worse than hurting Minecraft cats. You brought my... My kitty, thank you. Krona, you're so sweet. Oh, You 
brought back my kitty. No, that's... I guess that's all we're going to get out of the kid for now. Drinking contest. Step right up. Press A as fast as he can. Ready, set, go. Chug, 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 chug. Keep chugging. Oh, not bad. I'll put five silver points on your card. Oot. You're awfully competitive, aren't you? You have no idea. <laughs> I was worn out from running around, but watching this dance gave me energy again. A prehistoric dance. Entrancing, isn't it? Catchy rhythm, huh? You can dance along with Y, X, right button, left button, too. Well, that's good to know. la dee da dee da dee da I got spending money from the mayor. Did you turn around and cluck like a chicken as well? <laughs> oh, prehistoric rhythm. Oh, that's right. Though, yeah. Okay. That's all the dancing we're going to do. Although, yeah, no, it does not restore your hit points. So what we're going to do is take a peek at the time. We're okay-ish on time. The last two were a little bit longer than I like, but um, let's see. 36 out of 70 hit points. You know what? Let's try to do another round with uh, El Gato over there. Although, let's see. Preparations are still underway. Enjoy yourself in the square for a while and check back a little bit later. And you're going to say the same thing. Because of course you are. Alright, let's run, have a run in with El Gato and then we'll uh, heal up and go from there. Yep. Beat me up and you get 50 points. Gotcha. Get him! Well, I mean, at least he's beating up the guy with armor. That's got to count for something, right? Until he gets KO'd. Yeah. Chrono's out? No, Chrono's down to one hit point. I don't think... Um... Oh, there we go. We won. Chrono's level increased. Marley's level increased. I'm trying to remember if a level up automatically heals you up too. Oh no, I've lost. Yep. Yada yada yada. Give me my points. No, my hit points did not go up. <laughs> Congratulations, you leveled up. You're still on one hit point, kid. <laughs> of course. Of course. All right, let's dodge the people. Let's head back out the fair. Now, I do want to uh, continue getting the silver points because uh, there are some games in this big tent that um, you earn all sorts of fun stuff and especially things that will come in handy later, too. But first, let's go back home because there's no place like home. Let's talk to Mom. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. I've never seen you bring any girls around except for Luca, who's the pretty new friend. I'm Marley. Nice to meet you. Marley, you say? Have we met somewhere before? I could swear I recognize you. Perhaps it's just my imagination. Where? Hints are supposed to be subtle. <laughs> All right. In what is probably going to be one of the odder things in this game. We're, we're going to go climb in bed now. Hi, Mom. Meet Marley. Don't mind us while we snooze. Yep. Not going to go any further there. la di da 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 We're just going to head right on along and go back to the square. All right, let's try our luck here real quick. 
Welcome to Norstein Beckler's Tent of Horrors. The spine-tingling show is about to start. How many silver points would you like to spend? Now, the number of points you spend will determine the uh, reward that you get. So you definitely want to do each of the games at each of the different levels. Um... We've got 30, 31 points right now. So let's go ahead and do the 10 point game real quick. I'm Biggs. I'm Wedge. Hey, it's Biggs and Wedge from Final Fantasy VII. Oh, wait, no, that comes later. I'm Pete. Piet. Sure, we'll go with Piet. Which one is Wedge? Uh, I wasn't paying attention. No, nope, that's Biggs. Doggone it. And now I'm out 10 points. <laughs> there. Forget the, uh, I forget the formula for that one. Let's, uh, as if we didn't have a uh, handy dandy reference right in front of me. Well, I don't think there was the all the fair games in here. Double tech, triple tech. The Queen returns. A millennial fair showcase things to do. Um, hmm. Oh, that's right. It may that may have been one of the things that comes later. All right, that's why we've got two references. Hmm. Oh, well, that's good to know. I was going to use the game guide to bet on the next race, but uh. Apparently, in the Steam port, they made it truly random instead of uh, random. So, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to use that one anyway. Doggone it. Alright. Three men will enter the door in the 6th century Guardian Soldier garb. They'll introduce themselves and walk horizontally back and forth. Randomly, a few moments after mixing up, they will stop moving and will prompt you to choose a specific one out of the three. Walk up to the one. Uh. Oh. There's, uh. There's no secret. Alright. Let's try our luck on the guessing game again. And then, uh. And then we might call it an episode. Welcome to Beckler's Tent of Horrors. The spine tingling show is about to start. The nice thing is that you can come back to this later. So you're not totally out of luck if you don't do it out the gate. How many silver points would you like to spend? Let's do the 10 point one again. All right. So we got Biggs. We've got Wedge. And we've got Piet. Okay. I'm pretty sure he stayed in the middle. Yes! <laughs> oh, you got me! Here's a Poizo doll. It'll spruce up your room. Awesome. Alright, let's, uh... Go do Battle of Ghetto real quick. That... That'll give us a chance. That'll give... Yeah. And then we'll head back to the room to check out the doll and rest up. They call me Gato. Yada yada. Give me my points. Oh wait, I gotta beat you up first. Bam! Do 23 damage instead of 22. I'm pretty sure that's not how crossbows work. I'll check my D&D rules again though. Bam! 10 XP! There we go. 
I also notice I'm not earning tech points at the moment. There is a cap that you can get from different encounters. All right, let's do this guy one more time. That'll get us 30 points. And with what we got left from before, we should be able to try the 40 point game in the tent. And watch me epically fail at another memory thing. Get him! Get him! Hit him harder! Make him hurt! No, no, not me. Make him hurt. Yay! 10 XP! Oh, no. There we go. I, I am earning tech points. Okay. Good. Because we should be earning some techs at this point. Oh, no! Lost one. Fun. Yada, yada, yada. Rhyming. All right. Uh, let's check on the text real quick. I need one more tech point. She needs six more tech points. All right. This Gato isn't going to out and out kill us. He's just going to mock us if we die. Uh, let's take a look and do a time check. All right, let's do the tent. Head back to the house real quick, and then we'll do another episode switcheroo. Don't worry, live stream folks. It's going to be like the uh, last one. We're not done done yet. We're going to try to go through the fair. All right. Beckler's Lab. And how many points would you like to spend? Oh, by the by, you can only get the Poizo doll the first time. Every time you complete the 10 silver point game after that, you get more cat food, which is important if you want to do one of the, uh, you know how like there's off, off, off Broadway? This is a side, side, side quest, uh, depending on it. What you do with the cats, it does actually affect things later on, but it's one of those really, really minor details. Somebody had a little too much fun putting that in there. All right, let's do the 40-point game, which is my memory game, which uh, naturally stinks. All right, so that, that's left arm, that's right arm, that is laugh. And a surprise. Mimic what you see. Oh, no, it changed the button from what's on the guide. Okay. So, left arm. Left arm, right arm. Laugh, surprise. Laugh, surprise. Left arm, right arm, laugh, surprise. Start when you hear the signal after I move. And action. Laugh. Laugh. Surprise! Surprise! Left arm. Left arm. Laugh. Left. Surprise! Right. Surprise! Oh! Bloody oath! wrong button <sighs> that might be something I do between streams <laughs> or the next time around because uh, I, I don't want to stall in the fair too too long I, I do want to keep this uh, keep this part going all right so let's head up here and oh look we now have a doll oh do you hear the music I have zero grams of cat food. That could be a problem too. All right, let's rest up. And... I gotta remember I should actually be doing that between deals, but you know what we haven't done for a while? 
We haven't saved. Matter of fact, we haven't saved at all. That is a poor example. So let's go ahead and save one. Save data to this file. Yes, please. And, uh... <laughs> Yes, in the original console, you only had three save slots because there was only but so much memory in the cartridge. And uh, if you wanted to try more than three games, sorry, that wasn't an option. All right, so this is where I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the credits. So those of you watching on the live stream, hang tight. I'm going to do my little outro and then intro again, and we will get on with episode four on the live stream. So if you're watching on YouTube, that means that if you want to know the future, watch live on Mixer and Twitch. There are links in the description below. And uh, I stream Thursdays, 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern on Twitch and Mixer. And if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get notified when new content comes up because I will be publishing episodes six days a week between live streams. And if you are watching on Mixer or Twitch right now, hang on tight. I'm just going to do the same scene switcheroo that I did before, and we'll get on with episode four. But if you miss something, forget something, want to go back over another part, then uh, there's a link to the YouTube channel below. Don't forget to uh, follow on Mixer or Twitch and subscribe to the YouTube channel because other stuff might hit there and uh, we'll never see, we'll never know. All right, so uh, live folks, hang tight. YouTube, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>